Oh fuck, that was hot. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to another video. Um, my coffee was really hot there. So I just went grocery shopping. Oh, first intro. My name's Jessie, Jessica Catherine, whatever. This is my channel. I just make videos about whatever the fuck I want to make videos about. Um, because I'll probably never be monetized, so I don't have to worry about shit. Um, but today I figured, since I just went grocery shopping, and it was a pretty significant grocery haul because I just got back from a week of dog sitting, so I had no food in the house, I figured I would do a grocery haul. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And I think we'll just do it as I'm putting shit away. So I went to the co-op, which is my favorite store and where I used to work. Um, and yeah. So we'll start with the meat. So I got some bacon. Um, they make this in-house. I don't know if they make it. Yeah, I guess they do make it in-house. Um, it's the salted rustic, salted pork bacon, uh, rustic, the label is weird, it's bacon, it's really good, it's actually really the only bacon that I like, um, I usually bake it, and then I, um, I render the fat down and save that for cooking, and then I also got some steelhead trout, I just got one tail, and in here, I have some top sirloin cap steaks from Grass uh, Thousand Hills. These are delicious, and it's I don't remember the what the grade is called, um, but you can eat this raw. And actually, cap steak is best. Like I like it best, just seared, and then render the fat and just slice it and eat it raw. And then I also got some lamb sirloin chop, just one. So that is, oh, sorry about that. Um, that is the, my proteins for the week. I also have beans and lentils in the cupboard that, that goes in here. Doesn't really fit in there. Oh. Excuse me. Okay. And then I'm going to set you down because it's going to be easier that way rather than... There we go. Okay. Next up, we'll do dairy. I got some unsalted butter because I'm going to make granola. I also have salted butter that I use for um, cooking and stuff, but I like unsalted butter for, uh, I'm going to make granola and I don't want it to be salty. And then I got some garlic and herb chev, some goat cheese. It's funny when people are, because I used to work in the cheese department and people would ask for goat chev. And I don't think they realized that chev in French is goat. So they were asking for goat goat. Kind of like when people order chai tea. They're ordering tea tea. Anyway. And then I also got some Siggy's yogurt. I got 4% milk fat. Um, it's strained whole milk yogurt. It's Icelandic. So I got blueberry and vanilla. And I got two of each. Away. And real quick, you can see how empty my fridge is. There's not much in there. And then I got these at another store while I was out riding my bike. I want to get a whole pack of them just to have with me. Focus. 
It's just a nice quick snack. And I got a jar of raw honey. This was in the bulk department at the co-op for my granola, and then I also put it in, like, oatmeal and stuff. I use it instead of sugar. I do have sugar, but, you know. Anyway. So then, vegetables. I got some carrots, some local tomatoes. Let me move my coffee out of the way. Some cherry tomatoes. I like just munching on these, snacking on these, um, or I'll cut them up and put them in like a dish with dinner or something. And I got some broccoli. I just got two two heads of broccoli. And actually, real quick, I'm just gonna clean this out. I had a little little dried fennel in there. So we got some broccoli, some carrots. I got some purple kale. I think I'm gonna, I might make kale chips with it, or, um, I just like sautéing it up in, in my dishes with like the broccoli and the carrots, I'll just mix a bunch of vegetables together, and I really like the purple kale, I don't know why, because they all pretty much taste the same, but I like the color, the variation of color that it gives it. That doesn't fit in the vegetable drawer. And then I also got some local state line mini peppers. I think they're local. Yeah, Lime Springs is local. I love the mini peppers as opposed to like regular sized peppers because they give, uh, they give. What am I trying to say? I don't go through them as quickly because I feel like if I cut up a whole pepper, I have to use the whole pepper, whether I use the whole thing in a dish or whether I eat the raw, like what I don't use in cooking. These I can just take one or two, dice it up, and it's good to go, and that's it. And they're also good if you want just a pepper to eat, you can just take it out and munch on it. And it's delicious. Speaking of snacks, sugar snap peas. I'm probably going to eat this whole bag tonight for my snack because they're so good. And they satisfy my need for crunchy, snacky things that aren't potato chips because, full disclosure, I eat whole bags of potato chips when I have them, so good to have snacks around that are healthier options. And then I also got pears. I got Bartlett pears, red plums. I got a three pound bag of organic apples because I love apples and I go through them a lot, so I figured the five something that they were worth, that they cost, was worth it. I hope I'm not wrong. If they're too soft, because I don't like soft apples, so if they're super soft, I'll probably just use them in cooking. Um, I just use them instead of potatoes. And I was going to get some sweet potatoes, but then I remembered that I don't really like sweet potatoes that much. Not enough to go through the work of preparing them. <laughs> uh, anyway, but I did 
get these cute little fingerling potatoes from clearance. They're organic mixed fingerling. I got them for $1.49. They were originally like $5 for this little bag. I am probably, oh, I got a sprouter. I am probably going to make these with the beef, with the steak, and the lamb. I'm probably actually going to cook it all in the Instapot. Probably just steam them. And then um, I'll have them with those two meals. So I'll just heat them up. And I also got a bag of onions because I put onions with everything. Everything savory, like my dinners and shit. Liz. You go down here on my cart. And I got blueberries. Another thing that I just, I put in oatmeal or I just eat out of hand. Like I'll eat the whole pint in like a day, just snacking on it throughout the day. And then I got some ginger root. I put this in all of my pretty much all of my evening, all of my dinner dishes. And then also in my oatmeal, sometimes. Sometimes I'll put it with my breakfast, like if I have eggs or something. And then I also got turmeric. Turmeric's really expensive here, so I only ever get this much. And that was still, I don't know how much it cost, but it's like $20 a, a pound. So it's pretty expensive, so I only ever get a little bit at a time, but a little bit of this goes a long way. And then that also goes down here. And then I got local pasture-raised eggs. They're from Lime Springs from a farm there. Brown eggs. I think these are large. I, don't, I mean, they say large, but It's whatever the chicken wants to give us. We are thankful for it. Man, that's it for those. And then I got instant oatmeal. Because in the morning, your girl is kind of lazy and she just likes to have her oatmeal right now. So I boil some water in my tea kettle and I put it in with the oatmeal and I wait for it to sit for like two minutes and then it's good to go instead of spending 20 minutes to make oatmeal. And I've tried to make oatmeal in my Instapot. I know you can do it, but I can't for the life of me. I mean, I somebody help me out. Comment down below what you do because every time I've tried to make oatmeal in my Instapot, and I use, normally I use this, it's thick cut oats, or I also have, I think, I don't know what these are, I think these are also thick cut oats, but I've used barley before too, rolled barley, and it always ends up sticking to the bottom, burning, or not being done enough, or all of the above. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I thought I was measuring right, maybe I'm not. I don't know, let me know. Comment below your tips and tricks for Instapot oatmeal. But I got those. This is for breakfast. This is for my granola. Also go with this one. And... I also got some blanched almonds for the granola and for my oatmeals and some pepitas. I make this mixture and this one has mulberries in it as well. Um, but I make this for my oatmeals in the morning. It's pepitas, sunflowers, and then I always have like walnuts or almonds and then some type of dried fruit sometimes. Like right, this one right now has mulberries in it. But I've also used goji berries or um, raisins. And then, okay, so anyway, 
I also got coconut flakes for my granola and my oatmeal and sunflower seeds. And that is it. Oh, and I got razors because I was out of razors and an orange at a different store because it looked good. And that's it. That's all I got. This is the end of the video. I got nothing else to say. I hope you enjoyed it. My car oh, and I got four gallons of water. And my cart broke. The wheels came off of it. So I had to like, let me show you. I had to like hold it up like this and walk it home. It took me like twice as long to get home. Anyway, that's it. That is my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little more about something. <laughs> I still rambled. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down because interaction is interaction and I'm good with either. Comment down below what you usually buy for groceries every week. What are your staples? These are pretty much the standard things that I buy every week. Um, well, I mean, I don't buy this stuff every week. I buy this stuff like once a month because I don't go through, I don't go through it that fast. Um, anyway, I hope you liked it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next one.